Today we're joined by Stuart Ruff, a lawyer with Thackeray Williams who specialises in family matters. Over the coming months, we'll be talking to Stuart to find out what areas he covers, how he can help you, and what to do if you need his help. Hello, Stuart. How are you? Oh, hi, Helen. Good to see you. I'm very well, thanks. Thank you for joining Seven Oaks Mums today. So, should we start with, tell us a little bit about um, Thackeray Williams and what your role is within the business. Well, Thackeray Williams is a full service law firm headquartered in Bromley, and we've got offices in London, West Wickham and Seven Oaks. We basically deal with businesses and individuals and the legal requirements that they have, whether it's, for example, setting up a business or from an individual's point of view, if they have any employment issues or they need wills done or probate. And from my point of view, I help people who've got family issues. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what family law covers, um, what family issues you would help somebody with. Absolutely, it's it's quite a wide ranging uh, area actually, because it not only deals with divorce and sorting out the associated financial and property aspects arising from a marriage breakdown, but I also help people if they're having difficulty sorting the arrangements out for children, when a relationship breaks down. I also help unmarried people who might have a dispute about property ownership and shares that they might have in a property. And we can also help people if they are sadly subjected to domestic abuse in terms of getting protective injunctions to protect them. Okay, okay. So having gone through that and listening to this um, chat, I recognize that there is a service you offer that I need. What are the next steps? What should I do next? Well, the simplest thing is to get in touch with me, either by email or by telephone. And uh, we can then have an initial five or ten minute chat just so that I can introduce myself and find out a little bit about the person's circumstances and what they need help with. And then what we could do is move towards getting a date in the diary to have an appointment to discuss it in more detail. Okay, so if... um... I wanted that sort of 10 minute chat um, just to find out a little bit more about you and you were to find out a little bit more about me. Is there any sort of fee for that or is that just sort of a, a, a discovery chat, if you like? Absolutely. No, there wouldn't be for that because it's very important that a person feels comfortable and confident with their choice of solicitor, because family work is a very emotional, difficult time for a client, and they need to feel comfortable with the person that they are asking to help guide them through that process. So I'm more than happy to spend five or 10 minutes just having a chat with someone so that they can basically assess whether or not they would feel comfortable with me representing them in helping them sort their problems out. Sure, okay. So um, how are you meeting your clients at the moment? At the moment, it is still remotely through either Zoom or Microsoft Teams, but fingers crossed it won't be too long before we're able to go back to office-based face-to-face meetings. Yeah, it would be good, wouldn't it? Fingers crossed we're going to hear something on that in the coming weeks. Absolutely. Um, So my final question really, I suppose, is um, one of finance. you know, we're we're wanting to engage um, and start working with you. Um, But often in these cases, people are worried about money. How would, what are the options for funding my case? Yeah, I mean, obviously funding the case is a very big concern for people because legal fees can become quite heavy quite quickly. Mm. Um, There are essentially three main ways of funding a particular case. Some people fund it on a monthly basis as as and when bills are sent to them. And that does have the advantage of spreading the cost over the course of the case. But not everyone's able to do that because some months there might be a reasonably large bill if there's a lot of work that needs to be done in that month. Other months Mm. would be lighter. There are loan options available as well, either through high street lenders or specialist lenders who lend for legal proceedings. And in some circumstances, you might be able to get an order from the court ordering the other person to pay some or all of your legal costs. So there are some options that we can obviously discuss. Okay, 
That's really good to know. Thank you. Well, I think that's a really good introduction um, today. And so thank you, Stuart, for your time. And it's been really good to chat. And I know we've got a, a series of talks coming up over the next few months. So we can go into a little bit more detail about the specific services that you offer. But it's been really nice um, to find a little bit more about Pat Williams and, and yourself today. So thank you for joining Seven Oats Mums. No, a pleasure. Thank you very much, Helen. I'm going to speak to you soon. Indeed. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.